You know, it's good that we can see and hash this out face to face. Especially the nonsense put on social media that we the leaders are the problem of Nigeria. With all due respect, we are the ones doing the work here. Yet you cite figures like you're learning how to count, accusing me of unexplained billions in my bank account. Your children call me names, hash this, tag that, but when I ask for their audience, all I get is radio silence. You keep pointing fingers, yelling, missing taxes. But let's be fair, do you actually pay your taxes? Me? I am not corrupt. Your allegations are nonsense, dismissed because you have no evidence. You, <laughs> you even asked to be paid to bear witness and then you call me the enemy of progress. How am I corrupt? Hmm? Don't you see the good roads? The big malls, the nice parks? If I do, then I go talk. If I don't do, then I go talk. We know trust, you can only talk on Asabi. When election come down, I go tanda for house Asabi. Then your people wake up votes, go line up, make we arrange with wrapper, rice and onions and some small change. And then you blame me for lack of power, blame me for lack of jobs, blame me for everything, even when rain don't fall. But who's to blame when you kill your neighbor? With words and knives that cut deep. Yet you want me to pay for your prejudice. All the division and hate you spread with no conscience. You love your thieves and you're okay with their crime. But the problem is that me and you know be the same tribe. You say you don't want me, but I'm exactly what you deserve. So for the last time, I am not corrupt. It's easy for you to talk rubbish. I am not corrupt, yet you are super rich. I no blame you now. I no sooner no get shame. That's why you fit set mouth to define who to blame. You remember Mama Emeka, the one who stood for you. She died of a heart attack because of you. She lost her source of livelihood all because of you. You even chased her with task force, Mopol and even SARS too. No selling by the roadside, no this, no that. That woman died in many ways than I can even count. Her first son died because your hospitals are nothing but mugs. They wouldn't touch him unless she greased palms. Her daughter was shot the day your boy stopped her boss. But your people didn't care. Oga must get returns. And just like that, a graduate was dispatched to meet her God. Why are you going to pretend like say you really care? Yes! We supported, voted, and put you in that chair. We ate rice, tied rapa, but what did we for do? When we noticed that every four years you go remember, say we'd be your people too. If only you tell Mama and make her say, the future where you promise no go rich him at all. Say you go break a small shop to make way for big mall. Say the house where she swears build better pass for tree and grass. And the fire road where you promise. We know they see and pass. You said you didn't steal taxes. But what about the oil revenue? You squander the wealth we're all entitled to. Then ship your children abroad. Bring them back with private jet for reserved cushy jobs. But me and my son, we they hear the hustle. They pray to Baba God for our daily bread and that our sons don't end up dead. So I beg, could the preach what it not make sense? We are all in this because you sold your soul. Why we sell our votes for the monies you stole? How you go beat speaking, tell us to make you no cry? So let's be clear. Me too. I am not corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> 